Rev it up and welcome to Cars Yeah, show number 2116. This week on Cars Yeah, we're celebrating the Concours at Pasadera. It takes place August 11th and 12th, kicks off the Monterey Car Week, and this year they're celebrating Ferrari's 75th anniversary. To learn more, go to PasaderaConcours.com. And if you want something cool to drive during Car Week, well, check out this next guest. This is Cars Yeah, where you'll enjoy interviews with inspiring automotive enthusiasts. Mark Green is here to provide you with a fuel injection of automotive inspiration. So get in, sit down, buckle up, and get ready for a wild ride here on Cars Yeah. Hello, inspiring automotive enthusiasts, and welcome to Cars Yeah. Today, I'm in Monterey, California, with a very special guest by the name of Heather Gardner. Heather, welcome to Cars Yeah. Do you have it in gear, and are you ready to release the clutch? Absolutely. Thanks, Mark. I'm so happy to be here. Well, we're going to have some fun because you have a business that is all about creating fun, creating experiences for people, and I don't know any other way to describe it. What you do is pretty cool. But before I give you a proper introduction... Could you share one little thing about yourself that maybe most people don't know? Well, I'm probably a mom first before anything else, before a car owner. And before I was a mom or a car owner, I am a molecular biologist. I was doing scientific research. Uh, A mom and a smart lady. Yeah. Wow. (laughs) Holy cow. (laughs) So that's probably something that no one would expect about me. You know, you did something like my wife did. I married a very smart woman. Uh, When we were in college, she was on the smart side of campus. She was studying engineering. And so she graduated with an engineering degree and got a job as an engineer, did that for many years. But when we decided to have children, she said, you know, I kind of want to stay home and raise my own kids. And, you know, I looked at half of our income and I went, ooh, okay, let's figure out how we're going to do that. But we figured it out. And I'll tell you, it's one of those things that was the best thing we ever did. You and Jill uh, sit in the same seat. And uh, I commend you for Mm -hmm. that. Yeah. It's hard to put in all those years of school and then decide to take a hiatus from that. Well, and then we moved to Monterey and there wasn't much opportunity for me to go back to work. So I just created all sorts of volunteer opportunities for myself. And then finally I said, Hey, (laughs) well, we can talk about it, about the business, but um, something fun, new and exciting and different. And just the ability to create something from scratch and take an idea that we had and make a business that no one else was doing. So there was no roadmap to follow, nothing to follow. We made it up as we went, brought lawyers in and insurance agents and lots of helpers in to make sure that we got it right. And I think, I think we've done a pretty darn good job. Well, I think so. So uh, you used all that brain power. You just redirected it to a different uh, area of business. So <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Well, let me give you a proper introduction. Heather Gardner is the owner and manager of Monterey Touring Vehicles and Classic Car Rentals. That's right. She and her team provide you with a unique way to experience the beauty of the Monterey Peninsula and surrounding areas. Imagine cruising in a classic car up Highway 1 to Majestic Big Sur, entering the gates of 17 Mile Drive in something very unique, or making your way to Monterey Wine Country in a classic sports car, convertible, or luxury vehicle. Heather worked in the biotech industry, as she mentioned, before retiring to raise her children, and then, as she said, decided to launch her classic car rental company. Her passion for cars began with a 1978 VW Beetle. And living in the Monterey area, that inspired her passion for old cars to translate that love for collecting old cars and creating a business. Monterey Touring Vehicles is a proud sponsor of the Concours at Pasadero, which we're supporting this week. I'll be back in just a minute to share more about this wonderful adventure. But first, a word from our sponsors, so please give them a little love. They're the reason we're here today, and we'll be right back. Buckle up. Are you ready to get out and hit the road? Boy, I sure am. This country has so much to offer, and what better way than to get out and drive? Covercraft protects the things that move you. From protective covers for the outside of your vehicles to the inside with dash covers, seat covers, and sunscreens, all creatively designed to keep your vehicle cool for those roadside stops for a meal or to take in the view. Covercraft custom tailors their designs for your special vehicles and manufacturers with the quality and attention to detail that's been their standard since 1965. Road trips can be hard on your vehicle surfaces, so protect them. And when you get home, 
cleanup is fast and easy. And you want to get a deal? Well, I've got one just for you. Use the code YA21 at Covercraft.com and you'll get 10% off your Covercraft order. That's right, 10% off compliments of cars, yeah. Simply use the code YEAH21, YA21, at checkout. I've been protecting my vehicles with Covercraft covers since 1975. Covercraft, protecting the things that move you. Go to Covercraft.com today. American Collectors Insurance, it's a company I've worked with for many years now. But did you know they also insure your valuable collections of automobilia and other collectibles? If you're like me, you've invested in a lot of cool collectibles over the years. Those items are valuable. And if you were to lose them in a theft or a fire, well, try to get your normal homeowner's insurance to pay you what they're worth. Good luck with that. American Collectors Insurance provides you with assurance and confidence that your collectibles are fully covered. They insure a lot of items, including automobilia, wine, baseball cards, books, figurines, die-cast models, model trains, glassware, sports memorabilia, toys, and a whole lot more. American Collectors Insurance, they've been protecting us enthusiasts since 1976. They provide you with an agreed value insurance policy backed by a long history of taking care of their clients. Give them a call today for your personal agreed value quote at 866-ACI-YEAH. That's 866-224-9324. Tell them you're a friend of mine, Mark Rains here at Cars Yeah. American Collectors Insurance. Classic car insurance designed by collectors for collectors. Automotive enthusiasts just like you and me. That's American Collectors Insurance. So, Heather, let's jump in a cool old car and go for a ride. Now, I've been going to Monterey Car Week for 32 years now. This will be my 32nd year attending. And one of the great things about that part of the world is the weather's so nice. Also, the roads are wonderful. And, of course, that week, huh, everywhere you look, there is a cool car. But you provide that opportunity year-round for people. So let's talk about how you developed this business, where the idea came from. And then we'll dive into some of the unique cars that you have that people People can get in and live the dream. So take it away. <laughs> Where should I start? The beginning is good. Like you get in, turn the key. And, <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> the beginning. Well, you took me back to how many years have I been going to the to the Concord? Since our boys were one and two years old, I've got two boys that are 15 months apart. And I've got pictures of them going to Concord on the Avenue when they were one and two years old. Oh, my gosh. And I remember... So for me, it's been 18 years of Concord. And I love to tell the story of I remember driving them to preschool and they counted the number of Ferraris they saw on the way to school. (laughs) And I think the most we ever saw during that week was 20. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Can you imagine like 20 Ferraris on the way to school? (laughs) It's hard to imagine. You know, for people that have never gone to car week, you can't even describe it. And I took a friend who was recently a guest on the show. I've known him since junior high. And he was there for a week. And after the first day, which was that Carmel and the Concord, which sadly won't be happening this year because we lost the founders. Really sad. What a wonderful man. Yeah. After that first day, he said, you mean there's more? And I said, oh, we've Mm. just gotten started. So yeah, your boys are lucky. Well, they don't realize how lucky they are. It is. It's incredible. And I don't know if you know that the, the local high school, so Carmel High, a couple years ago decided that Friday of Car Week was going to be a holiday because the buses can't even get through town. Yes. <laughs> so there's no school on Friday. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> so we, we call it Car Week and a half now because, as you know, Pasadena Concourse starts on Thursday, Friday before Car Week. Yes. So it's now Car Week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and there are events, multiple events every single day. It's Really lots of fun. It's mind boggling. But this business of yours, I want you to really share. Oh, where did they hold? Yeah, yeah, that, that business of yours. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that thing you do every day. Where did this whole concept come from? Because now there's different places around the world where you can rent or borrow, exchange old cars. But when you started this, I don't think anything like this existed. It did not. We started about the same time that Haggerty started their drive share program. So it was late 2017. And well, first of all, my 78 VW bug, I've had, I bought it when I was 18 years old and I've had it all these years. We put a new engine in it in 1992, brand new VW engine from Germany installed $1,500. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> I love to tell that story. Oh. It's, it's, it's 
insane. Mm, yeah. You wow. know, back in the back in the day. But that car, we you know, we've carried it around and we've had it stored in garages here and there. And any time a car breaks down or I get a flat tire or somebody needs a car, you go in the garage, you start the darn thing up and you go. And there's, you know, it's, it's tried and true. And you get out there and people who have these old cars know that when you get out there, everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody has a story. Everybody knows someone that had one of those cars. And it's just a fun experience for everyone, not only the driver, but the people who see the cars and see you going by. It just brings joy, it just brings joy to people. So being in Monterey, it, you can drive one of these cars year round and commutes to wherever you're going are only a couple of miles. So we, you know, got a couple of more old cars and people just wanted to drive them. And the story is that Thanksgiving 2017, family came into town, drove a couple of our cars, always convertibles, automatic convertibles. Down the big came back and said that was the most fun they've ever had, which isn't true, but you know, it was just an ex- experience that they'll never forget. And it was unlike anything that they'd done before in a regular car. And so we started talking about it and said, what if we had a small fleet of cars, small group of cars that we maintained and people paid us to drive the cars and therefore would help us maintain the cars and then they'd be ready to go. Cause that's, that's the other thing with an old car is you go to get it and you go, I don't know the last time that oil was changed. Yeah. I don't know the tire pressure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's ready to drive. And I said, if we had a fleet of cars that were ready to go at a moment's notice and we felt good about saying this is reliable, mm-hmm. you know, would that work? And so we talked to, the first thing we did was talk to a lawyer and said, what do you think about this idea? And so she got a group, some people together, and we came up with some terms. So we said, okay, this is going to work. Then we got, was one, I believe it was one Saturday or Sunday morning, Meekum was having their auctions in, I think, Indianapolis. And we said, you know what, we're just going to get five cars. We're probably going to make some mistakes. We'll get some cars and we'll just see how it goes. So, and there, and, and the idea was born. And then the idea was born. And then the hardest thing was finding someone to insure us. So we had two insurance agents looking for about a month to find a company in um, Pennsylvania that would do uh, provide insurance for yeah, us. Sure, it's a terminal fleet insurance. It's very expensive and it's very difficult. But we weren't going to let that stop us. And we said, you know, the insurance in- industry will catch up to this idea. And they haven't quite yet, but <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. We'll, get, we'll there. get there. Well, I love the whole concept. Yeah. And, you know, part of a wonderful adventure when you go on vacation, and of course, the Monterey Peninsula, that whole area is a vacation destination, not just during car week, but there's so many wonderful mm-hmm. things to see. But the roads are what make it so much fun. And when you add all the racing events that happen out at Laguna Seca, and then, of course, mm-hmm. the Big Sur and the wine country, I mean, there's so many cool things. And you add that final element, because most of the time you rent a rental car and it's kind of vanilla. And, you know, mm-hmm. it's reliable. That's what you like. But you guys have taken that equation and put it into a classic car. And the worst thing for classic cars usually is not being driven, but your cars are being Mm -hmm. used regularly so people can have somewhat of a sense of reliability. But wouldn't you agree that driving an old car is like going back to your youth? That's why we love these old cars. And Mm -hmm. you provide that experience for people when their their hair is let down. Well, if I had hair, I'd let it down. But you know what I mean? (laughs) (laughs) Is uh, they get Mm -hmm. to have that feeling of being young again and enjoying times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a wonderful idea. I, I think it's really cool. Talk about some, you have a lot of different cars and we'll put a link to the website. Uh, very easy to find, MontereyTouringVehicles.com. But talk about some of the different cars you offer because you have a very eclectic group of vehicles. Yes, we do. We decided to start with cars all over the map. We said we don't know what's going to be popular, what people are going to like. So we let we let our kids pick and we ended up with the <laughs> 1950 Crosley station wagon. <laughs> what? The toaster because it was, uh, <laughs> How did your kids come up with that after spotting 20 Ferraris during car week? <laughs> I just, well, actually, I don't remember. So one of them <laughs> saw a Crosley truck on, maybe it was on eBay or something and it was sold. And so we said, oh, you want a Crosley? We'll get this Crosley. And I swear the thing was so small, you could almost pick it up. And it was at the, uh, 
We had taken it to the Concord a few years ago, the one over at the Mission. Yes. The, um, oh, yeah. Mission Classic. Yeah. You know, the Mission Classic, yeah. So it was a, it's been over there for a couple of years. And the funny thing was we couldn't drive it over the hill down into Carmel. We had to actually drive it along the ocean road to keep it up. Kind of like at sea level to get it over there. Um, we ended up selling selling that car, but um, it was fun. We have a we have a DeLorean. We have quite a few replica cars. Our tried and true most popular cars are almost all of our cars are convertible. Mm-hmm. There's very few non convertibles, and the majority are automatics. So people love to jump in. You know, the most popular car most all the time is our '68 Camaro, the '65 Mustang. Oh yeah. All of our replica cars, the '64 Corvette is always up there. We've got a 54 Bel Air convertible that has shaved door handles and um, a brand new 350 small block engine, power steering, power brakes. It just drives like a dream. That's one of my favorite cars right now. Very fun. You've also got a Citroen 2CV. Talk about little cars. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, what what a hoot. As I go through your cars, you know, T-Bird. In fact, you were just in Mm -hmm. that T-Bird in a little bit of a parade. Weren't you? A little parade, yeah. I don't know <laughs> Tell how you us heard about, about that. that. Well, somebody told me. Oh a little bird gosh. told me. <laughs> 48 hours ago, today is Wednesday, on Monday, um, yeah, I was driving the 1955 Ford T-Bird, the very first car in the Warriors Victory Parade, their championship parade up in San Francisco. Wow. I, there must have been a million people watching that parade. I had <laughs> DJ D Sharp and his family in my car, and there was, there was a one car ahead of us, but they were kind of like, going ahead and slowing down. So I was the pace car for the Warriors parade on Sunday. Oh and I just gosh. thought, who gets to do this? Yes. Who, and who gets to do this? We had five cars in the parade and my staff was in, um, you know, the other cars in the back and Aaron had Chris Mullen's family in her car. And it was just, it was just the experience wow. of a lifetime. It was so fun. And who would have thought that this little idea we had a few years ago would have brought us to, and I just kept thinking about that. It would have brought me to um, leading the Warriors parade through the streets of San Francisco. Well, you and know. I'm laughing. Because <laughs> you never know. And yeah. then this weekend coming up is the Pride Parade in San Francisco, and my little 1978 VW Bug is going to be in the Pride Parade. And I was going to, I was going to drive it, but we're in the middle of a move, so I'm going to. I'm going to let somebody else take it up there and do that. But, um. Well, you know, it's it's cool. I, I'll tell you, listeners, Heather and I were supposed to talk a few days ago, and she said, oh, I, I've got to postpone. I got invited to this little parade. And I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> I, I, got, I got blown off for a parade. And then I went, wait, the what parade? The Warriors? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. Go do that. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I know. Well, it, you've built such a wonderful little business here. I, little, I say, a wonderful business here. Just around the passion for cars. You know, I always like to ask people about what I call driving inspirations, mentors or people that have been around you that have helped you be successful or influential in your career choice. Is there somebody like that for you? Well, I guess that's a difficult question for me. I would probably say my thesis advisor. I have to say, I, you know, I went to an Ivy League school. I have a PhD from an Ivy League school. My thesis advisor, his thesis advisor is a Nobel laureate. So I have royalty in my scientific genes. And I have a lot of the drive came from that, from him. And also growing up, I think my dad had a pretty big influence over me of just about working hard. And one of my mottos is you work hard and you try as much as you can. And if you're lucky, 10% of what you do will be successful. Yeah. But you have to just keep trying and you just have to keep pushing. You can't give up if one thing doesn't work. And that's kind of how we approach this car business was we know we're going to make mistakes. You have to start out that way. Not every car is going to be perfect. And so you can't be upset if that happens. We didn't have any mechanics. We, we started out and we weren't sure how we were going to be received in the car community, how people would feel about this. Real car enthusiasts don't let anyone touch their cars, much less drive them. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right? And the gal, Erin, who I, you, you've talked to, she and I run this company and we run it as a hospitality experience business. And and that's really what it is. It's a it's a car business, but it's it's about making people happy. It's about creating memories. It's about people coming back and saying, I had no idea how much fun that was going to be. It completely changes the experience. So that that's kind of what we we're going for. And we didn't really have a mechanic when we started and now we have several and we have 
those are our cheerleaders, those, the mechanics that work on our cars. I feel like they would do anything for us. And it's that partnership between them making our cars safe and reliable and us delivering them to the people that really want them. That is, it's just, I can't say it enough. It's just so happy. <laughs> I'll just say it. It's just, it's feel good. We have, we have a lot of kids that come in. And we've got probably 10 or so kids that come in and bring their families and their grandparents and come in and know so much about all of our cars. And they don't necessarily rent ever. They come in and they use it as a museum or a, a place to go hang out and just have fun. Oh, it, nice. It's quite an experience. We do a lot with the community. The picture that I sent you with me and the dogs was a photo shoot that we had loaned a bunch of our cars for, for a peace of mind dog rescue. Oh, the cool. Dogs that wanted to get, needed to get adopted. We, you know, we help them out. Well, it's all about fun, creating experiences, doing things for other mm-hmm. people. Yeah. What a, And what better kind of business to be in than that? So you, you found the secret sauce to happiness. That's for sure. Wow. Well, it feels that way. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. Yeah, well, it feels that way. Good for you. Well, let's take a short break. We'll thank some sponsors here. We come back. I want to talk a little bit about a challenge. So keep that thought in mind because definitely starting a business that's you, new and unique. Whew, yeah. You've mentioned a few challenges. So we'll, we'll do that right when we get back. <laughs> so keep the seatbelts on. We're going okay. for a fun ride today with Heather. We'll be right back. Okay. I've teamed up with AutoGeek because, well, they've been the leading source of auto detailing products, accessories for more than 20 years. Their Pinnacle Sovereign Paste Wax is specially formulated from Brazilian Carnuba Wax. It's easy to apply on any paint surface and provides that warm glow that we love, especially me on my vehicles. You're going to love it too. A favorite of car shows countrywide, Pinnacle Sovereign Paste Wax from AutoGeek wipes on easily, requires no drying time, is easy to remove, and provides up to 90 days of protection against damaging environmental contaminants. This wax is designed to exceed the standards of the most discriminating enthusiasts and collectors. Go to autogeek.net to get yours for the best product selection on the internet today, along with their very skilled technical support. Autogeek.net. That's where I go for all my detailing needs. That's autogeek.net. I've discovered Linkage. It's a new quarterly publication and website that covers the automotive market, driving, restoring, collecting, and discovering your passion for motor vehicles. Linkage is about experiences, opinions, and values. Linkage is an actual informed, reasoned opinion based on firsthand experiences. A talented Linkage team covers the automotive world, the people who share your passion and mine, smart, considered, rational, and experienced opinions. Ones you can learn from and grow. That includes our passion that drives auctions and the collector car market. So come with me and join us on this journey. And be sure to use the code CARSYEAH when you subscribe and they'll give you $10 off. Boom! Linkage, geared for the automotive life. Subscribe today at LinkageMag.com. If you're listening to this program, there's a pretty good chance you believe what I believe that the collector vehicles we love are more than just a means of getting from one place to the other. They're a part of our culture, our identity, and as a people, they bring us together at vintage races, classic car auctions, and thousand-mile rallies. That's why I support the RPM Foundation, which exists to ensure that the critical skills necessary to preserve and restore these important vehicles aren't lost to time. RPM stands for Restoration, Preservation, and Mentorship, and their goal is is to inspire the next generation of vehicle restoration professionals through its outreach programs. And they include Shop Hop, Off to the Races, the RPM a Future Class, and many others. These programs engage talented young people across the country and connect them with mentors and a variety of opportunities in the industry. For more information on how the RPM Foundation is driving the future of collector vehicles skill trade, visit rpm.foundation today. So I always ask the big challenge question here on Cars Yeah, big challenge, failure, something that really kind of pushed back on what you're doing in life. So let's talk about this. You alluded to a few. Number one, starting a business that hadn't really been done, finding insurance company, getting mechanics. I mean, there's all these facets to your business that require all these moving parts all work together so the person that rents your car doesn't call you on the phone and say, this thing broke down, I'm stuck in the middle of the road, come and get me. So Mm -hmm. let's talk about some of these challenges, okay? (laughs) 
<laughs> where do you start? <laughs> Again, where do you start? Well, in the beginning, it was about the mechanic. I think now that we've, we've got our mechanics figured out, the reliability of the cars. If any car seems to have any issues at all, we don't let it go out. We have, every once in a while, we get some user error where the car isn't, or isn't in park exactly, so the car didn't start. Or they left it in auxiliary mode, so the battery's dead. But for the most part, we've, you know, we have a pretty darn good track record, I have to say. We've done, um, this last month, we did, I think, seven corporate rallies. We have big corporate groups come in. Wow. And two of them were over over 30 cars. Holy cow. And I know, if you can imagine that. So 30 of their cars and six of our cars, kind of pace cars and in-between cars and um, sweeper cars. And we go all the way around the entire peninsula in a classic car parade, seeing the sights and, you know, knock on wood, everybody makes it just fine. And the other fun piece I should mention is that we never seem to have a problem getting volunteers to help us retrieve the cars. (laughs) So this last rally we did, they ended up at Laguna Seca for something and we had a transport van take everybody out there. And my kids, I mentioned, are 18 and 19 and their friends. I had probably six to eight teenagers in that group. And I have so much confidence in our cars that I'm happy to say you guys jump in. Of course, certain cars I pick and and they can drive the cars back. It's not a problem at all. So that's that's what we do. These old cars are wonderful if they're maintained and so forth. And as I mentioned, I've had lots of old cars. And the problem always was you don't drive them enough. And cars don't like sitting. Mm-hmm. They, they need to be moved and kept up to pace and all the fluids moving and all this stuff. Otherwise, True. they just kind of deteriorate. So the fact that these cars are being used and you've got great mechanics and these great helpers, mm-hmm. I mean, what a, what a nice thing. Yeah. Are there some ideas with your business that you have going forward that are kind of bucket list ideas for, for moving forward? Is expanding the fleet or different kinds of vehicles that are available or uh, mm. vintage motorcycles <laughs> there's a crazy idea. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you know you're not the first person to mention the motorcycles and i absolutely know i know nothing about motorcycles and i don't like them i hate to say it but they just don't seem safe to me well, you're, you're a mom not too many moms like motorcycles yeah no i know no, no, no motorcycles we recently gotten a few more cars just because we had these big rallies coming up. But the directions that we're heading, we're, we've got so many ideas about where we're headed with this. We've just recently added something called Photo Flow for our renters where pictures of their experience, thank you, pictures of their experience will be emailed to them. We've just recently gotten GoPro cameras on our cars. So if oh, people want to rent fun. GoPros yeah. to videotape their experience, it's a great we can idea. do that. Yeah. Yeah, so we do that, providing food, providing more rallies. We are going to start doing events in our warehouse. We've had quite a few parties when people are approaching us going, you know what, this is, we have a 10,000 square foot warehouse. And when we have parties, we've had live bands in there. We have food trucks just drive in. So we have the, 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 the beer truck. We've got um, the taco truck come in so we can have food and drinks in there pretty easily with a live band. And then you've got all the cars on the perimeter. So there's always something to look at. We've got some great lighting in there. We have cars out in the parking lot. It's really just kind of a fun event venue. So we're headed that direction as well. I think fortuitously, just the parades have come up. (laughs) We've done three parades in the last week. My goodness. You know what comes to mind? My my wife lived in the Monterey area for a year before uh, her father was sent there. He was in the Marine Corps to the language school. Mm-hmm. And so their whole family lived there to learn Spanish because they were then sent down to South America and they lived in Argentina for three or four years. And so they used to do something on 17 Mile Drive every Sunday because her dad was basically in school six days a week. They would go have a picnic down at Shell Beach. And I was thinking about you mm-hmm. as you were describing that, you know, offering your customers a picnic basket uh, so they could all get in a fun car and drive on 17 mile drive and uh, stop and have a picnic on the beach with the pictures with the car and so forth so uh, and with DoorDash or this food delivery system these days somebody could even meet them there <laughs> as part of their package mm-hmm. uh, which would be kind of mm-hmm. fun you know just a, an added element to that 
wonderful experience that uh, people that are visiting the area maybe don't even think of. Oh, I could have a picnic on the beach along 17 mile drive. That'd be kind of cool. So lots of neat ideas. I love it. Well, I always ask my guests about a special vehicle. Now you've got a whole bunch of them, but one of the things we discussed earlier was this, <laughs> this VW Beetle. Is that really the special vehicle in your life? The one that kicked it all off? People ask me all the time like, what my favorite car is. And my answer is it depends where I'm going, who I'm with, what the weather's like, what's the last car that I drove? Because oftentimes that's my favorite car is the one that I just got out of. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. To, it's hard to answer because I love them all. But um, <laughs> I think you asked me earlier what what car uh, I would identify most with that was most like me, and I really do think it's that '78 Bug. It's um, it's timeless. It's classic. It's fun. It's not overstated. It's practical. I'm a very practical person. Um, it's easy. It's reliable. I, I just, yeah, I just love my bug. <laughs> well, who doesn't? I do. Yeah. <laughs> Beetles are one of those cars like the Mustang and a couple others that everybody loves because everybody has a story. My sister had a 73 Beetle. I had a 67 mm-hmm. Carmagia. That was my Porsche, poor man's Porsche when I was in high school. But uh, the mm-hmm. Beetle is just one of those cars that everybody kind of loves and so forth. So now Mm -hmm. one thing I love to ask is if there are ways that you found to give back. Now you've mentioned a few of them with your cars, uh, participating in parades. Are there some other ways that you like to, through your business perhaps, and give back to others and either in the automotive world or in the world in general? Um, We donate to just about everyone that asks. I shouldn't say that out loud. (laughs) No, uh, no. Yeah, I see. (laughs) Now you're in trouble. (laughs) Yeah, it's going to kill me for that one. Yeah. Um, we uh, donate, usually it's a half-day rental to, we support, again, because I'm a mom. Uh, oh, Erin's calling me right now. I can't see. <laughs> yeah, she, her <laughs> she ears were me. burning. Yeah. <laughs> her ears were burning. Erin and I are both moms. We donate a lot to schools and a lot of sporting events for the mm-hmm. kids. Oftentimes, or anything, any local event, we're very much about the community and, and Monterey. Um, we just did donated cars for the Monterey High uh, baseball team. Aaron's husband's the coach of the baseball team. We donate cars for Carmel High when my kids go for the, their parades. I told you the Peace of Mind Dog Rescue, that, that picture that I sent you with our dog, and lots of other events that we feel passionate about. about. We, um, we do a lot of donating. Very cool. Is there a great book that you've read that you really enjoyed? Yes. As my life is pivoting from, you know, science to the car world, somebody just recently recommended a book, The Universe Has Your Back. And it's it's spiritual, but not religious. And it's very interesting because I'm starting to believe more and more the universe has you has your back where things are happening at the right time in the right way. I would have never imagined that I'd be running a business like this, but I don't, when I look back, I'm not sure it could have happened any sooner. And it feels like it's the right thing to be doing at this time in my life right now. And so when I look at things that way, like there's a plan, the universe has your back, kind of just being open to ideas and bigger, bigger messages out there that someone's maybe guiding this. I don't know. I've never felt that way, but it, it feels that way right now. It was really interesting to me. So, yeah, that's recently what I read. Yeah, that book is by uh, Gabriella Bernstein. And, um, mm. yeah, it, it's a very interesting book. But, you know, it, I'll tell you, I had a guest on the show. He's a great racer, Tommy Kendall. He was a guest on my show, number 500. And he came. He offered to come back and be my 1,000th guest and interview me about how Cars Yeah was started, oh. which was really a fun twist of the mic. But he had a saying that is akin to what you just shared, and I've always loved to share this. His parting words of wisdom, which I'll be asking you at the end of this, is you are perfect for this moment. And the idea with that is no matter what is going on with your life, good or bad, there's a reason for it. Either it's rewarding you perhaps or teaching you a lesson. And I always love that saying. So whenever I've gone through something challenging, I just remember that saying by Tommy thinking, okay, I'm perfect for this moment. There must be a reason. So let's find what that reason is. And that's his thinking was he was in a terrible racing accident that stopped his racing career. And he was very depressed about it. But he realized, you know, there's a reason for it. And that led to him being a commentator in sports and all these other opportunities that he would have never had or ever dreamed of 
if he didn't have that attitude. So uh, the universe has your back, I think has a lot of that probably similar philosophy to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all how you view a situation. Exactly. Great book yeah, recommendation. Exactly. So I'm going yeah. to enable you to go on what I call the ultimate drive. Now you've been on the ultimate drive. It sounds like many, many <laughs> times. So this may be a silly question for someone like you, but I'm going to ask it anyway. I'm going to buy you mm -hmm. any vehicle in the world. Doesn't matter how much it costs. I'm going to provide it to you. You can take it anywhere in the world and you can be with anybody you would like, even somebody who perhaps isn't with us anymore. So for somebody who has a lot of cool cars and enables a lot of people to go on a lot of ultimate drives, what does the ultimate drive look like? for you, Heather? Oh, that's interesting. I change my answer on that all the time. <laughs> but as you mentioned that all the time, you're right. I have been on a lot of great drives with a lot of great people. And I was going to say, you know, with my kids and down Big Sur. But since you mentioned that, I think I would go, I would do the Big Sur drive, but it'd be with my dad who passed away 25 years ago. And he had an old Corvette and he loved that Corvette. And I think my dad would love to be in one of the brand new Corvettes. I got to sit in one about a month ago and it was over the top yeah. crazy. Yeah. And I think that would be something that he would really, really enjoy. So I would take my dad in a brand new Corvette. Those cars are like the new Corvettes to me are like Ferraris. I mean, they look like a Ferrari oh. there. I've known people who bought them that just said, oh, my gosh, this is cool. <laughs> Yeah, so. it was, it's like nothing I've ever seen. It was, uh, you know, over the top. So that's what it would be. It took my dad. Yeah, a trip with your dad. That would be absolutely excellent. Well, you've taken us on a wonderful journey today. You enable a lot of people to take dream journeys. What you've done is created a life and business around creating memories, which what better way to have a business and, and have a life. So my hat's off to you and Aaron and your team there. Before I let you go, would you share maybe a inspiring word of wisdom, a success quote or words of advice with our listeners? Well, maybe one of, maybe my, my quote could be one of the mottos of our business, which is revive your adventure. <laughs> I which love it. Means, it's what we use as our hashtag. And it just means relive old memories and create new ones. It's, the, it's just the experience. Yeah. yeah, revive your adventure. Well, what a great slogan. And that's what you enable people to do. So that's what makes what you're doing so much fun. How can people learn more about Monterey Touring Vehicles Classic Car Rentals? <laughs> you can go to our website. We hope that if you just search Classic Car Rentals, Anywhere in the country, we will come up as one of the top tests. You do, yeah. What we're, we're supposed to be. So um, if you just tr search classic car rentals and type in Monterey, we'll come up. MTV Rentals, I want my MTV. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> Monterey Touring Vehicles, MTV, um, MTV Rentals. And there we are. You can find information about that. One more thing I, I should, I want to mention, I don't know where you can put this from, but so as we talked about Concord on the Avenue down in, in downtown Carmel and you, and you mentioned us that that's not happening this year for the first time in decades. Right. The only event going on in Carmel this year is the Prancing Ponies All Women's Car Show. And we've been partnering with Shantaria who runs that since she started here and we started at the same year. So we will be partnering with her and it's going to be, I think they've given her about four city blocks, also Deffendorf Park. And so women and cars will be taking over Carmel this year. And we couldn't be more proud of that partnership. And that will be on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday of Car Week. It should be lots of fun. Well, definitely. And you know, Doug Freeman, I had known him for a long time. We lost him last year, sadly. He is the founder of Carmel Concord in the Avenue, which was a wonderful, that first mm -hmm. week start off on Tuesday. Sadly, that won't be happening this year. So uh, maybe somebody yeah. will pick that up. But we'll put links to the, uh, the other show you're talking about. I've been to that show. It's pretty cool. Uh, ladies and mm -hmm. Ferraris. Yeah. What's better than that? So absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Listeners, again, you can learn a lot more about uh, the Concord at Pasadera on their website. Just check out PasaderaConcord.com. That takes place August 11th and 12th and, of course, Car Week. And if you're going to be in the Monterey area and if you would like to enjoy some cars from Monterey Touring Vehicles, you better talk to them soon because I would assume all your, your garage is probably empty that week. You know, people always say that, but as you know, it's like a parking lot in Monterey that week. I shouldn't say that either. <laughs> well, so well there's a lot there. of people there. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. I'll tell you, though, that um, a couple of years ago, before COVID, 
you know, pre-COVID, we had a, a gentleman and his son, they rented our 1975 Cadillac Eldorado during car week. And they came back and the gentleman, he said to me, he says, I am so mad at you. I said, well, what's wrong? He says, you did not tell me how much my face would hurt from smiling. <laughs> everywhere I went, he goes, there's McLaren, and then there's Ferraris and there's Lamborghinis. He goes, and everyone wanted to look at my car. He goes, this Cadillac was the hit of everything. He goes, this was so much fun. I can't thank you enough. So driving a classic car when all those other wonderful cars are out there makes you just feel like every. You know, everybody's looking at you. Absolutely. The other story is we have a 1927 Bugatti replica. It's a, you know, a Volkswagen dressed up like a Bugatti. And we had someone last year rent that for four days. And every morning he would come in and tell us about his adventures from the previous day and what parades he got into and what private events he got into because he was driving this Bugatti. And he just, the joy on his face and his stories were so amazing. I could not, I couldn't believe the stories that he was telling us about his adventures at Car Week with the Bugatti. <laughs> well, there you go. Super fun. Reviving yeah, your fun. adventure. Heather, thanks for being so generous today with your time and sharing your story with us. What fun you're having uh, making memories for people. Until you and I talk again, I'll see you down the road in Monterey during Car Week. Wonderful. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining us on today's ride here at Cars Yeah. Drive on over to CarsYeah.com to find show notes and inspiring automotive fun. Download your free copy of Filler Up, a fun book filled with gorgeous photographs of fuel filler fun, including quotes from more inspiring automotive enthusiasts. Download your copy today, and we'll see you next time on Cars Yeah.